If you watch our show, you probably saw the Halloween special where Loft House cookies were featured and where our very own mom on the run, Colleen Burns and Christy kicked off the ultimate holiday cookie decorating contest sponsored by Loft House cookies, of course. Well, out of hundreds of creative entries, our production team has selected our winner and our lucky winner is Sandra McClure from Columbia, Maryland. Let's meet her. I want to thank the Balancing Act and Lost House for selecting me to be the grand prize winner of the prettiest holiday cookie contest. My mom started making these cookies for family and friends more than 50 years ago. When I started my family, my mom handed the cookie cutters over to me and I kept the tradition going. Here I am today with my nine-year-old grandson Cameron carrying on this tradition of our Christmas cookies. I am so happy to be able to share these cookies with everyone today. She's so great. Now, in addition to getting $2,500 in cash, Sandra's traditional cookie decoration will be recreated by Chef Jeremy Hanlon this morning so that all of you at home can make this for your friends and family over the holidays. Welcome back to the show, Chef Jeremy. Thank you. It's always fun to be here with you. I am so excited to have you here this morning because you're going to show us how to do these cookies. Yes. Now, when I spoke with Sandy on the phone, I got the recipe, and the amazing taste that comes from it is complemented by, of course, all the beautiful decorations that she says with the sprinkles and the icings and everything. She has particular particular um, designs on hers, but also too, you know, you can do whatever you want with the kids at home and, you know, have them make up their own colors and decorations as oh, well. It would be so fun to get together with Christy and her girls. We yeah. could all make these things together. Okay, so what are we starting with? <laughs> all right, well, we're going to do the Christmas trees. So, okay. Beth, why don't you go ahead and grab us a couple trees up there. There you go. All right. And I washed my hands. So. Okay, I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> now, we are going to start with the green icing because obviously the Christmas tree is green. Oh, uh, well, most of them are. My, my at home is not. It's brown. I always forget to, uh, you know, water it. <laughs> We'll stick with the green for uh, presentation purposes. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> so we're just going to take a little bit and spread it around on the tree. Okay. Now you want to just cover the, you know, the base and around all the different leaves so you have icing all over the top. And, you know, the best part, which I'm sure that you're looking forward to, is uh, getting your fingers and getting it all over so you can then taste it after you're done. It's already <laughs> all over my thumb. And a, what, one little tip is to use the back of the knife okay. so that when you spread, it comes like a nice little smooth design oh, on top of the Oh, now it's all over my thumb. Yep, see, that's the best part. The okay. tip is also a great tasting. Uh, and then you can lick the, uh, <laughs> well, I don't recommend licking knives. That's dangerous, right? <laughs> yeah. So now, um, I know Sandy likes to put the green uh, garnish on top to even make it a little bit more fancy and more green. Ooh, um, okay. And again, you know, with the kids, uh, you can create any kind of colors, any kind of designs you want. Now, for folks who are really busy, the moms who maybe don't have time out there to bake the homemade cookies, what are some options for us? Or what's the option? Well, you know, in most grocery stores in the bakery section, you have the Loft House cookies. Yeah. Really. We have here the snickerdoodles and the package as well as the sugar cookies. And even during the season, they have the ice cookies and everything that you can get, you know, instead of, if, again, if you don't have the time to make this great recipe at home. Oh, yeah. I mean, I hear that there are the family recipes that they use for these. And yeah. You can just snack on them while you're shopping. Yeah, usually <laughs> most people don't make it out to the car, you know, once they, once they pick up the package. You've shopped with me before, <laughs> haven't you? Well, thank you so much for joining us. And this was so much fun. I can't wait to dive into this. Yeah. And definitely congratulations to you, Sandra, out there. Uh, it's so excited for you and so great that you let us um, <laughs> make these cookies today as well. Now, if you want to get the winning cookie decoration and instructions, just go to lofthousecookies.com. And, of course, thanks to all of you out there who participated in the contest. Look for more contests and sweepstakes on our homepage and on our show of course in 2010. Now I'm going to dive into this cookie. Cheers. Cheers.